Welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. I've owned the Fuji X-T3 for about a year now and I primarily shoot in RAW for my photography and 4K videos for my YouTube channel. Within the year, I have over 1.5 gigabytes of photos and videos combined. I need to expand my storage space and decided to purchase a four terabyte Western Digital mechanical hard drive, 5400 RPM. In this video, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to install your hard drive, initialize and format it so that Windows will recognize it. I'm also going to do a read and write benchmark against the other drives I have on my computer. So against the SSD and the NVMe drive, I just wanted to see how it compared. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and consider subscribing to the channel for similar content. Now we're going to install the four terabyte hard drive to the desktop. Again, this is a Corsair Corby 275R ATX gaming case. If I scroll down. There's the mounting bracket and the four terabyte hard drive. Western Digital Blue that I'm going to install in this case and it goes right here underneath. One of the nice thing about this bracket is it is a screwless mounting bracket. I don't have to screw anything to the actual hard drive itself. There is indents or there is plastic points where it mounts onto where it fits there are plastic points that line up to each hole of the hard drive which is nice all i have to do is snap it into place like that it's snapped into place and I'm gonna let's install it so, this is your power connector So that's your power connector. And then we we'll put this one over here. And then this is your SATA drive connector. Plug it in there. The next step is to format the hard drive so the computer will recognize it. On the Windows icon, right click and select Disk Management. Select GPT to initialize the drive. I'll leave a link in the description below of why you should only choose GPT.
The drive is still not ready to be used yet and states it's still unallocated. Right click on the unallocated drive and select new simple drive. Leave the drive space as is. I'm not going to make any changes. Assign a drive letter by default is going to show the next logical letter available. However, you can also assign any unused letter. Leave the file system as NTFS and give the hard drive a name. In this case, WD4TB. Click Next. Click Finish. It's going to format the drive. After the update, the drive will state it's a healthy partition with the assigned name and disk drive letter. And now you can begin to use the drive. I'm going to verify that it's working by going to my folder, selecting the I drive, which is my WT4TB, right click, hit properties, and you can see it's formatted and there's only 3.63 terabytes available, even though it's a four terabyte, which is normal. And now it's ready to be used. I'm going to use CrystalMark DiskMark 6 to do a rewrite speed test to see how fast the 4 terabyte Western Digital Drive can do. So I'm going to start the process. And the total results was 190 read and 180 write, which is pretty good for a 5400 RPM drive. I recently did a test of copying 20 gigabytes of 4K footage from an NVMe drive to other types of hard drives. For that video, you can click on the card at the top. I wanted to see how fast the read-write was compared to my past findings copying from an NVMe drive. The initial speed topped out at about 490 megabytes per second, and when the cache was filled, it leveled out to 130 megabytes per second, which isn't too bad at all for a 5400 RPM drive. Comparing this to my other results from my last video, the read speed times was actually faster than my Samsung 850 EVO SSD drive by over two minutes. I wonder if it's because my SSD is three year old technology. And so the current technology for hard drives are kind of caught up to that speed. Overall, I'm really happy with this drive. Since the hard drive is primarily used for storage, I don't need a fast SSD or a fast NVMe drive to do what I need to do, which is just to store pictures and videos for me to look at and to pull up every now and then. I'm, overall, I'm very happy with the four terabyte Western Digital. It was actually faster than when I thought it would be, uh, despite it being a 5400 RPM hard drive. And I'm actually considering getting another one while it's on sale. So that's my thoughts. Thanks again for watching and until next time.